Hello all of you beautiful butterflies. Today I'm going to be unboxing this right here in the background. Now I'm super excited because you can already see all of the pets in there and I'm so excited to just get it open. But let's first take a look at just kind of skim around what's in the box. So we can see here this Barbie which is I mean, I don't want to say a basic Barbie, but she's kind of the Barbie that you would get in every single kind of playset like this. Um, I really feel like they put Barbies in here just to, like, up up the price. Because I'm pretty sure this was, like, somewhere in between, like, 20-something dollars. And I'm sure it would have been cheaper if there wasn't a doll in here. But it's okay. It's okay. I got another outfit, okay? So... I guess I'm happy about that, but what I did notice um, about the dog is that it has like dirt on it, and if you use hot water, you can get this dirt off. So it's not only like a little cleaning um, little thing for this dog, but there's also a bunch of other animals that you can have. And then we have this cute little animation here. It looks like the animation that they use for the new Barbie TV show. I'm a, I'm a better. I'm a bit of a fan of the old one, not gonna lie. I mean, I watch the old Barbie show just for fun. I don't I do not do it for the meme, for the joke. I, I actually enjoy that show. The new one, on the other hand, not up my alley. I'm just gonna say it. It's, it's definitely more of a kid show, the new one. Whereas the old one, I feel like it, it's... It's still, it's still kicking, you know what I mean? I still like it a lot. But enough about Barbie shows, we're here about the Barbie doll. So I'm getting this open and um, it wasn't too difficult to actually get out of the box. Like there wasn't anything I had to cut or nothing, but getting them out, getting all of the little pieces out. So I'm pretty sure it's like 27 or it's something amount of pieces. Anyways, there's a lot of little accessories. Let's just say that. So cutting out each little accessory was... A bit um, a bit of a lot but it was fine it wasn't too bad to get all this stuff out um, the only thing I'm concerned about here is all the plastic that they used honestly it was it was a lot it was a lot and I would have rather they have not um, I would have rather they had not but it uh, I you know you, you I guess we live around plastic anyways so um, now I'm just getting these little accessories out, which I'm super excited to get open because I can see a little doggy thing, but I won't talk too much about it now because we're going to go more into depth later. So, you know, this is just the unboxing part. Um, now getting these little things out right here, I don't know why they were stuck to the box. I could not get that plastic off. You know, these little things are supposed to be able to like rip open easily, like, well, the only thing I can think of right now is a toothbrush. You know how you open toothbrushes? That's what that was supposed to be, I feel like at least. But no, it was super difficult. But, you know. And then this part right here, I thought it was going to be super difficult, but it wasn't. You just, like, twisted it. And then it came off. And I was like, oh, uh, okay. But I thought it was, I was going to spend, like, 30 minutes on it. And I only spent, like, two seconds. Anyways, so now that we're done with unboxing it, we can do the full in-depth review of every single item. I know, it's going to be a lot, but stick with me here. So we have the little logo with a little puppy. It says Barbie. And then we have these two little things. This has a bunch of collars on it, and this has, like, some soaps and towels and stuff like that all for your doggies. And then there's a little shelf right here that has two little spots where you can put things on. And then we have bandanas on one side and other cleaning supplies on the bottom here. Next, um below the cleaning supplies you have a little sink where you can wash your um little puppies or kitties or whatever um in this little sink right here super adorable i'm actually really excited to do photography with this i'm going to have photography if you didn't already guess because i do photography in like every single one of my videos now um but yeah and then we have a little bench over here that has another little spot to put something and then another like short little tiny bench right there and then there's some shelves and there's like different colored legs this one over here has a circle through the middle which i'm assuming can have like dogs poking through their heads and stuff like that um but yeah it looks like there's a lot of storage and I did not know this whenever I bought it or even opened it or anything, but I cut this little string and I was like, hmm, there's still a string on here. And then this fell down and it just revealed like the sink part and then the shopping part. Like there's a little picture of a dog. How cute. And then there's this little thing where it has little like hoodies on it and stuff. And like, why is it so cute? And then there's another shelf that has like dog shampoo and it looks like some catnip and like cat toys and stuff literally what i did not know that there was another shelf here and now that i know i'm like why is this the most why is this amazing why is this amazing um i'm excited like i'm so excited honestly but we have to still do a you know review of the other stuff as well so 
here we have the doll which she she's a basic doll with five points of articulation with movement at the hip um shoulder and head neck one of those and then she also has these really cute white shoes which i might just steal and use for my other dolls not gonna lie then her um outfit isn't uh, it's not my it's not my style but she has like this little overall thing the the back set is just completely orange but she has this little overall thing with a bunch of dog stuff on it and then um a striped little shirt underneath i mean the colors are pretty you know the colors are pretty definitely um and it's definitely a cute thing for like the context of this only um but i wouldn't use it like for a normal outfit to just put on my dolls um but yeah it also had weird shading on it since it is just like a flat thing they have to shade it so they like shaded it but like weirdly i don't know it was, it was kind of weird um but it, i mean it's a cute outfit i guess and then we have this extra little shelf which has a little like thingy that you can your cats can like snuggle in some dog food and then some cat food and apparently some fish food too so that's just an extra little shelf there to hold some more of the accessories then we have a shopping bag which use reusable bags please and it has these little like folds on it and stuff and it's like really detailed and then it also has the logo on it so i'm assuming they bought it from this place they bought this reusable bag from here um super cute i love it um I, tote bags aren't like my style but i definitely use them i definitely try to use them whenever i go shopping so yeah and then we have a little um kennel is it a kennel is it a, like a little a carrier i don't really know what it's called but it's like it's it looks like a kennel um definitely or what what did i say a carrier it looks like a little dog carrier definitely um but then again it also is saddening because i hate having to put dogs in carriers even though sometimes you do whenever you're going on like a, a ride or not a ride like a like a long trip i don't even know i don't really use carriers honestly for my dogs um but yeah it's it's looks like a carrier which is cool but then again carriers are kind of a little sad to me so but then we have this little shopping cart which isn't the same as the shopping bag this is a shopping cart and it looks like a shopping cart and had little palm trees and stuff then we have this little like cushion or whatever for um in the box the cat was sitting on the cushion so i'm assuming it's a little cushion for the cat which is adorable by the way um, and then we have this little bowl that is yellow with some hearts on it. Um, I, it's a doggy food bowl and I, I might want to like fill this up and try to use it for some doll photography. I know I keep saying doll photography like too much. Um, but yeah, then we have a cat, um, like food, but it's not the one in a can. It's one in the bag. Then we have this thing, which you use to, you know, buy your stuff with. It, like, has a little credit card thing, and you select, yes, I want to buy this dog bone, and whatever. I think this sticker on here is pretty cute, too. Um, and, yeah, I'm excited to use this in my doll photography. Okay. I bring it up too much, I know, but, you know. Then, um, I have, we have this little dog here, which is super cute, and you can, like, put stuff in its mouth, which I think is adorable. But it did have a red stain from the leash, but it's not too big of a deal for me because it's not that noticeable then we have this little white cat which does have like a hole but like the dog didn't i don't know a little weird but they are textured both the dog and the cat are textured um and this one doesn't have a little thing in its mouth but whatever then we have this hamster which is so cool like the wheel spins and the hamster spins on this little thing like i don't know but I love it right whenever i saw this and the thing that i'm going to show next i was like okay wait this is a must have a what <laughs> why do i need this <laughs> add to the cart um hello i wasn't planning on buying it okay so i was looking at this and i was like you know what this looks pretty cool but i wasn't planning on buying it and then i saw the hamster wheel and this little turtle which is stuck in plastic you know it's a bit sad it's a bit morbid thank you mattel thanks for <laughs> thanks for telling us about freaking ocean problems and plastic thanks <laughs> i'm joking um but you know but once i saw these two little things like i have never seen these for barbies i used to see these for american girl dolls all the time and i would want one so bad like a little hamster cage for my american girl dolls and i would never get one like i you know my mom would never buy me one but i would want one so bad and now that they have them for barbies and now that i'm obsessed with barbies i might just cry over it like they even have a little lid like i can't i want to f like furnish i guess this like entire little cage it's so cute and then there was like a little blue towel but i mean it was just a towel you know and then there also was a red leash which i didn't show 
um, oopsie daisy, but there is a little red leash that um, is kind of like a simple like thing, but it, it works. It's a red leash, you know? And then we have this pink band Danda, which is super adorable, and you can put it on the dog, and I'm pretty sure you can put it on the cat. I didn't test it though, so I'm not sure for positive, but I'm assuming you can put it on the cat. And it does look super cute on the puppy. Then we have the next item, which is this yarn ball, I'm assuming for the cat, maybe even the dog, if they want to play with it. Um, but it's a yellow yarn, and it's textured, and it like goes into a loop and stuff like that. Then we have this little sponge, which, remember how I said the hot water makes the dirt go away off of the puppy's back? Well, you use this sponge in order to remove the hot water, so it's like a squishy little sponge, like an actual sponge on the end. And then we have this brush right here, which... Um, I guess you would just pretend to brush your puppy's hair with because they don't have, like, real hair, so, you know. Then we have a dog shampoo, which this is super cute because it looks like it's branded the same. Like, the puppy on the logo and the puppy in the shampoo look almost the same. Um, but I think it's super cute, and it has a little bee on the backside. So, I don't know, I really like that shampoo. Like, the little cap and everything, like, it was, it was cute. And then we have dog clothes. Every single time I pass by this aisle in, like, Petco or whatever, I always want to buy some little puppy clothes for my puppies, but I never, like, I just don't because I hate it. So now that I can do it in Barbies, it's like, wow, you're just really feeding my obsession with putting clothes on dogs, aren't you? Um, but I absolutely am in love with this whole entire thing. Like, this thing almost makes me want to cry just because it's surrounded by dogs, and I love dogs too much. And cats, I guess, too. And I love hamsters. I've never had a turtle, though, so... I guess except for one week whenever I was, took home my class pet turtle, so... <laughs> Anyways, so I put the little, um, pink bandana on the dog with this little, like, shirt-slash-cape-looking thing. Um, it's the most adorable thing you will ever see in your life. It's, like, absolutely a must-need for me. Um, and then there's, like, this little sucker? I don't even know what this is, but it's, like, a little treat. Um... So, yeah, and it's orange. Then we have a green bone, which the doll can hold this green bone right here. Um, it's kind of textured, and it has, like, a dog print on it. And then we also have a brown one that's the same as the green one, except it is brown. And then for the last item, maybe, we have this can of cat food. I'm assuming it's, like, tuna or, like, some type of fish or something like that. But super adorable because we have a bag of cat food, and now we have a can of cat food. So, cute, and it's tiny, so, yeah. Okay, one more item, the last one, I'm pretty sure now, uh, the turtle food, obviously the turtle's going to need food, so we get a whole, like, little can of it, oh my goodness, guys, guys, I'm freaking out, this is too much for me, it's too cute, it's too cute. Now, I did notice one thing, we didn't get any hamster food, and I'm a little concerned for the hamster, because hamsters also eat, contrary to popular belief, I guess, but it was a little odd, like, I might use that little can of cat food for hamster food instead, because the cat already has a bag of food, so you know. Anyways, now on to doll photography. Um, the first picture I wanted to take was with the dirt, and you just use the hot water and the sponge to be able to get it off, though I didn't actually use this one. I just ran it under the hot water sink because it didn't really work, so, you know, keep that in mind. But, um, super cute. I use this blue towel to, like, wipe the dog off afterwards. Um, and then, obviously, she has to pay for the service, um, of like grooming your dog so uh i made this whole little like scene where she was paying for it and she got her dog that little treat then i made another scene where they were buying it since you know you can flip down those things and you can like buy stuff or you can wash your dogs or whatever so i made a whole scene where this another customer came in and was buying stuff for her dog she bought like um a couple of toys i guess and put them in this little shopping cart and then you know they checked out all the shopping cart stuff super cute now actually this doll right here and the dog did not come none of the dogs none of the dolls came with this that are in here and also the orange dog right there did not come with the thing i just it came with the hiker that i'm showing right now but this was really the only extra dolls that i had ready and also this dog is just super cute anyways so um uh, i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every single time that i post i know it's so crazy you can also check my description to see my Instagram and just learn more about my channel. And on my Instagram, you can see posts and photography and stuff like that. Because I really like doll photography. And I might start posting about my plants just like, so because, oh my goodness. Because I just got a bunch more of them. So, yeah. And then, what else? 
what else do you do? Um, you can also comment, and yeah, that's all. So, goodbye. Bye.